Welcome everyone. Today on this video, we're going to go over how to use the horse breeding mod. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, Farmer Cop here. So we're going to take a look at the horse breeding mod. So first off, you just need to install it. Um, it doesn't require global company or anything. It is not seasons compatible. And if we go into the store, what it basically does is adds a pen for you to breed horses. So if we go along here, these are the two horse paddocks in game, which you can't use to breed horses. But if we go further along here, you have the horse breeding paddock 74,000. It does say three there. However, you're only going to put two in and then you're going to be able to breed the horses. And it takes the same requirements that horses do in general. Um, if you need to know how to care for horses, I would check out my other video on that, which is linked below. So go watch that first, just so you know a little bit about it. But taking a look at the horse breeding pen here, first things first, we need to get some horses in. You can, like any other pen, um, you can go hit R at the menu here, and then you can pull it up and pick a horse to go in. So we'll just put uh, one in and confirm, and there's still going to be a delivery fee there. Or you can use a horse trailer, which is purchasable. And here in the store under animal transport this is the only one base game that hauls horses you can purchase one of those and transport them directly without a fee and if you wanted to use that all you have to do is get the trailer into that hazard area hit r and then i can move one over now notice it's not going to let me move the second one over just the two there so there we go and i can confirm that i hop out of here now if i go into the menu here um, i do have these two horses that are in here however i do need to provide them with water straw oats and hay so we're going to go ahead and do that so over here, this is the straw input right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some straw in. Perfect. They shouldn't take too much. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some oats inside the trailer here. And then the oat input is over here on the side along with the hay input. So basically the feed is over here. Right here. I can put oats in. And now that it has oats in there, I can also put hay in as well. Perfect. We'll get all the hay in there, get them all set and good to go. Awesome. Now if we walk over here, this is where you're going to put water in. So I can use a water trailer here to do this. I can overload water into there. The easiest way to remember is the water side is the side that has the water tank on it. Okay. Now if we go into the menu, they have everything they need. So... Now, all we have to do is wait and fast forward some time and wait and hope we get a, uh, a prized horse. So I'll go ahead and speed up the time here. And I can open up productivity here. Next animal in, 120 more hours. Go back to overview. Productivity, 118 hours as we speed up time here. So I'm actually going to go in the menu here. We're going to speed up time even more. There we go. And again, as we're going through it, we can check every so often. And it's still going to take us quite a while to get those horses that we want to get out of here. But all you have to do basically is wait for this timer to go down and see kind of what happens. As you can see, they're slowly burning through all their different stuff. We go back to the overview menu. They're actually getting trained because I have Global Company installed and I have Horse Helper activated, which if you don't know how to use that, you should watch my horse video. It goes into all the details on that. There we go, they're gaining value and they're slowly getting closer and closer to that mark for us. We're almost halfway there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here. I'll bring you guys back in when we're getting close. All right, we are getting close as you can see here. I did have to refill the water and the straw though. Very close. And perfect, we'll go ahead and hop out of this screen and slow the time back down. Let's get ourselves some daytime here so we can actually see what we're doing. All right, so we should have three horses in there. As you can see, we do. Fantastic. All right, so if we go into here, this is the one that they had because we had Jasmine and Viking in there, so now they have Inferno. And as you can see, Inferno's value is already up pretty high. So um, as these horses are worth more and more when they have a, a child, their horse child will be worth more or their horse baby will be worth more. So there you have it. That's kind of just the quick version on how to use this. And then of course, to get these guys out of here, very simple, just hop in here. You can either use this, now remember I already had one horse in here, but I could take Inferno out if I wanted to. And then if I did that, I could go back into the menu here. And if we fast forward just a little bit of time, we'll get fast, time fast forward and again, just to show this. Um, oh, it's still showing as having, <laughs> I must have not uh, confirmed it. Let me go back in here. Yep, I didn't confirm it. Move over, confirm. There we go. 
Now, if we go on the menu, those two are in there. So if we fast forward time, now you see again, they now have a timer back on here and they're working on producing another horse. So there you go. This is a, a, a neat way to get this. And this actually, if you look at the time here, this is a lot faster than training uh, horses from zero to all the way up. So if you had a few of these pens going, you could actually make some pretty decent money. And if you don't know this about the horses, um, we'll actually go ahead and hop out of here. I'll show you this aspect. We'll wait till tomorrow. Um, as far as how much horses are actually worth, which is quite a bit. So let this uh, get into the morning here. All right, that should be good right about there. Didn't really matter for the morning, but just easier to see. So if we come over here, um, these guys are worth a decent amount now as you compare. Oh, actually, we're trying to put them into there. Let's get this trailer out of the way here. I want to go right into selling them. There we go. All right, if you come into here, these guys are each worth $37,000 when they started out at $5,000. So if I go ahead and sell them, there we go. If I fast forward time just a touch, we go into the menu. You can see that we are not going to be producing any horses because there's only one horse there. So there you have it. It's pretty nifty. I, I think it's a, it's quite a cool mod and I plan to use it as much as possible because I think it's very nifty and very useful. So anyhow, guys, that is everything from me today. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bells so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.